September 12th is launch day for Cardano smart contracts. Last week, Cardano's creator, Charles Hoskinson, set a date for their, since a long time ago, expected to move up to the well-known cryptocurrency platform called Alonzo. Smart contract functionality is a major step that will allow Cardano to rival other programmable blockchains and drastically grow the potential solutions it offers its partners. Can Cardano reach $3 through this? Hello guys and welcome back to Richly. Today we will share the most important update for Cardano, new updates on Alonzo hard fork, smart contracts and much more. Stay tuned with us until the end or miss the potential prices Cardano will reach this month. So let's go. Enterprises, irrespective of size or industry, are supported by composed contracts. Tragically, these are often cumbersome and a source of business and legal clash. A solution can be found in replacing traditional contracts with smart ones. A smart contract is an agreement in the type of PC program that is executed automatically once certain pre-programmed conditions are satisfied. On blockchain, the goal of a smart contract is to simplify business between both anonymous and recognized parties, sometimes without the requirement of a broker. A smart contract scales down on convention and costs associated with traditional methods without compromising on realness and credibility. Some advantages of smart contracts are security, as the distributed ledger is invulnerable and safe to alterations, disintermediation, enables parties to go into agreements with diminished reliance on intermediaries, close to real-time execution, as it takes place almost simultaneously for all parties across participating computers when the models are satisfied. Transparency creates a climate of trust as the logic and information in the contract are visible to all participants in the blockchain network. Implementing smart contracts is not without its share of challenges. Some of this, if unaddressed, can hinder its quick reception. Confidentiality. Though enterprises desire transparency, they hesitate to put their contractual information, which might contain cutthroat strategies, on the blockchain. While a blockchain platform like Hyperledger is permission-driven and enables parties to take part in a private smart contract, Ethereum, a blockchain platform, does not have a possibility for private smart contracts. Enterprises in this manner need to select their blockchain platform based on need. Precision. Since a smart contract is a PC program, each term and state of the contract needs to be coded. There is a possibility of misinterpretation and omission by the coder, which might prompt loopholes in the contract. Temperamental inputs. These could prompt false contracts or non-execution of contracts. In the case of a traditional contract, the parties can continue to a judicial court for redressal. Lamentably, this is not possible with smart contracts where legal legitimacy is still being bantered. Bugs and errors in the code. These could prompt disputes and procedural difficulties identified with identifying errors and the parties responsible for those. They could also cause unforeseen repercussions. This happened in June 2016 when a hacker took advantage of a weakness in the code of the Decentralized Autonomous Organization, which is a piece of smart contract based on Ethereum and carried off 50 million Ether, a Bitcoin-like computerized money. Smugglers, terrorists, hackers, and others could also direct rogue contracts, taking benefit of self-execution and anonymity of smart contracts, illegal activities. Smart contracts might introduce an extremist change in the manner international businesses are executed by speeding up transactions, reducing desk work, and bringing about cost productivity. Industries like art, music, real estate, finance, manufacturing, retail, supply chain, and telecom could benefit significantly from smart contracts. The reception of smart contracts would be hastened if the platforms which host them acknowledge payments in all currencies instead of just cryptocurrencies and bring them under the domain of the current judicial system. Two states in the U.S. that have moved toward this path are Arizona and Nevada. Both sanctioned legislation this year to legalize smart contracts. Until smart contracts become legally perceived across states and counties, they will be useful for short individual agreements. For extensive, tremendous deals, enterprises should go to adaptable traditional contracts. 
Smart contracts are tiny pieces of code that live on the blockchain. They are distinct advantages. Without them, a blockchain database is a sophisticated ledger that can record and track transactions and data. With smart contracts, the blockchain becomes a programmable platform that can host different applications. Cardano's Alonzo Overhaul includes its own smart contract development language called Plutus. Cardano wants individuals who don't have specialized backgrounds to have the option to make smart contracts. Here are a couple of things things smart contracts make possible. Decentralized finance applications. This is an umbrella term for financial applications that work without intermediaries like banks, for instance offering loans that don't need a broker. Non-fungible tokens. These extraordinary advanced assets are often collectibles like art or sports cards, which work in computerized signatures containing ownership information. Gaming applications. Players can claim in-game assets through NFTs, and smart contracts can change the manner in which gaming economies work. Cardano has taken a slow and steady approach to its development. The team believes in intensive research and testing before execution. It might come as a surprise to discover that this is not the standard in crypto. In the competition to take advantage of blockchain innovation, many currencies first launch products and afterwards further develop them as they go. Cardano's technique will probably result in a safer, scalable, and robust item. Hoskinson designed the blockchain from scratch to address some issues looked over by first movers Bitcoin and Ethereum. In the short term, it means different platforms, especially Ethereum, have seized the lion's share of the market. According to State of the DApps, which tracks decentralized applications, almost 80% of DApps are at present based on Ethereum. Ethereum is struggling because its platform is not fast enough to manage the popularity. Until it can move up to Ethereum 2.0, users need to battle with high fees and network congestion. Cardano's smart contracts might mean some of those users switch to its system. Cardano's price has gotten around 65% since the start of August, fully expecting the Alonzo overhaul. According to CoinMarketCap data, this pushed it into the top three cryptocurrencies by market cap. It arrived at a pinnacle of $2.25 after the announcement, pushing it close to Cardano's unsurpassed high of $2.46 in May. Cardano is accessible from all top cryptocurrency exchanges. When Alonzo launches, it will be essential to observe the number of developers using the system and regardless of whether there are any specialized issues. Cardano is also hosting its annual summit toward the finish of September. It will be virtual, so investors can sign up and get the inside track on what's next for the coin. Cardano has experienced harsh criticism as of late as critics wail over delays in development, particularly the measure of time it's taken to launch smart contracts. Not only the smart contracts are significant in and of themselves, yet a successful on-time launch will reassure investors that Cardano can deliver. As of now, data reveals that 64% of the pools of Cardano are now ready for the upcoming fork that is scheduled to take place on September 12th and might introduce smart contracts to the network's mainnet. As Crypto Potato reported recently, the team behind Cardano figured out how to successfully execute a smart contract's capacity on the Alonzo testnet. This permitted developers time to test out the protocol in front of its mainnet upgrade, which should supposedly happen on September 12th. Presently, apparently, 64% of the pools in the network are now Alonzo prepared, meaning they've successfully upgraded to Alonzo 1.29.0 according to the Cardano Network Monitoring Resource Pool Tool. The official Twitter record of Input Output, who stated also syndicated the news, exceptional effort as ever from the Cardano stake pool operator community over the course of the weekend to prepare for Alonzo. Currently some 64% of pools have now upgraded to 1.29.0 Alonzo nodes. The team has previously clarified that they expect essentially 80% of the pools to be prepared before the upcoming HFC event. In the meantime, the network is under serious criticism after some supposed flaws and its structure were exposed as of late. As Crypto Potato reported recently, some users have been pointing out a simultaneousness issue that was found on a Cardano-based decentralized exchange called MinSwap, which was also the first dApp that launched on the Alonzo testnet back on September 4th. Presently, individuals argue that the issue is a major that may require a certain level of centralization for it to be fixed. Speaking on the matter was Charles Hoskinson, the originator of Cardano, who discredited the claims and said that, 
the issue our industry has is it says well on the off chance that you don't support my thing or I can't see an approach to make my thing work. What you have constructed is absolutely useless, perpetually useless, and it's just a toy. Afterward, they use vanity metrics, not even understanding what they are saying. So guys, are you ready for the 12th of September? Are you ready for a huge Cardano breakout? Let us know in the comments, like the video, and subscribe.